Guys, we've finally done it. Looks like we've got ourselves a dabbling duck. Look how funny that thing looks. It is swimming. And this is the one that we have baited with the frog, and this frog smells really bad. We got a fish on a duck. The duck just the duck is swimming. It just took off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got one. We got one on this one. Holy crap! What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Colin J. And today we are out here on the lake and we're gonna be conducting a little experiment that we've been wanting to try out for a very long time. And to be honest with you guys, this is a pretty foolproof experiment, but it's something we've, like I just said, we've been wanting to do forever. So right here on the lake, we're gonna be doing some catfishing today. And uh, a few videos ago, we ran some noodles or jugs to try to catch a catfish. And we're gonna be doing something very similar today. But instead of using pool noodles or milk jugs, we're gonna be using something really awesome. And that is this guy <laughs> right here. So those of you familiar with waterfowl hunting, this is a duck decoy. You use these to lure ducks in to your decoy spread, but today we're gonna use this duck to lure in a catfish, hopefully, into our canoe. So basically, guys, this is just a jug line in the shape of a duck decoy. Well, it's a real duck decoy. What we have is we have the lead that you have at the bottom of the decoy to make the decoy stay in place in the water, and then above it, I just attached a regular little drop line hook. And so the idea for this is we're gonna set these duck decoys around this swampy area like we did the other day and hopefully catch some catfish. For bait, we've got a bucket of fresh shad. Check that guy out right there. But we also have a super secret weapon here, courtesy of our dog, Buggy. Buggy was snooping around in the yard and she found us a leopard frog. Aww. She was tossing it around. She killed the leopard frog and she knows that's naughty. She's not supposed to be getting the bullfrogs or leopard frogs or any kind of frog. So she got a good little spanking for it. But we're not gonna let this guy go to waste. We're actually going to bait this up on one of our jugs and hopefully catch a monster catfish on it. I know that catfish likes frogs and I think that this guy could bring some good luck. So guys, we hope that y'all are excited for today's episode. If so, do us a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. We are getting close to 200,000 subscribers. That is our next huge milestone we're trying to hit. So we would greatly appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button for us. But with that being said, we've got about a dozen duck decoys here we gotta set out. Let's get after it. The spot that we're sitting in actually looks pretty good to drop our first duck decoy, so let's get it rigged up. Got a nice, about three inch shad right here. Just gonna hook him twice. I took him once behind the back and then just run it up underneath their dorsal fin like that. And then just push him on the hook. So if any fish grabs that whole shad in one bite, it's gonna get the hook. Pull those little scales off the tip. That looks tasty. Let's drop our duck decoy down. I think we're gonna have to unravel it ourselves. Usually the pool noodles, they'll unravel themselves, but we'll just do it manually today. That hit the bottom, and there we go. We should definitely be able. To, we definitely shouldn't have to worry about losing our our uh, our jug rig today. At times, we've lost like smaller, like Mountain Dew bottles or cans or even the little pool noodles, just because they're kind of small and the fish can pull them away. But I don't think there's any way a fish is going to be able to pull that up underneath this mat. And if so, oh my gosh, it's going to be a monster. So let's go around the edge of the swamp. Let's get some more of these duck decoys baited up. Hopefully, soon catch some big old catfish. set up except for this one and this is the one that we have baited with the frog and this frog smells really bad he smells really really bad but we're in this really nice cool swampy spot and hopefully we're gonna catch a monster on this all right let's toss it in and hopefully we're gonna catch a monster i think we have a good chance to catch something like frog with as bad as it stinks yeah i, I can still smell it <laughs> it feels like it's awful <laughs> all right so we got the entire duck decoy catfish spread out in the water now um, we're gonna let those shad marinate for a little while, maybe like 30 minutes, maybe up to even an hour. And then hopefully whenever we come back out here, we'll have some big old catfish on the line. Uh, real quick while I'm paddling back towards the house, I'm gonna let you guys know that Waterland Optics has a bunch of new shades on their website available to purchase. This is the new Slaunch series. We've been wearing these for a few weeks now, and they are incredible. They keep our eyes protected from the sun, which is really important this time of year especially. And I also had a close call while I was bastards, and I had a hook hit me in the eye. And if I wasn't wearing these, I probably would have had to get my eyeball ripped out, which is not cool. But guys, they gave us a new discount code that you can punch in. It's CJ15. That'll save you 15% off everything on their website. We'll have Waterland linked down in the video description below, but we're going to head back to the house. We're going to grab some water, maybe some snacks, and then we're going to come back out here and see if we've got any catfish on the line, which I have a good feeling we probably will. Thank <laughs> you. 
I really hate to say this guys, but we've been out here trying to catch a catfish on one of these duck decoys for the last three hours. And we have not had a single fish on the line. Zero. Zero. And we are stunned to be quite honest. Most of the time when we come out here and set either limb lines or jugs of some form, we're able to catch at least a bullhead or a small channel cat, you know, on the first run. Um, I have a couple of theories though as to why maybe we haven't caught any fish because when we've checked them, we have had some hooks without bait. What I'm thinking is that I actually left the original lead weights to those duck decoys on there and they're pretty heavy. They're like, I mean, they're upwards of eight ounces of weight. And I'm thinking that if a fish grabs a hold of that hook and starts thrashing around, they can use that weight as leverage and get off the hook. So that's something I probably should have thought of at first, but we're already in too deep. And this is actually going to be our like fourth run checking through all of these decoys. Um, another thing that's going on, we only set out like a dozen decoys, which normally when we run lines, we run like two dozen, three dozen of them, which usually ensures that we catch something. But we did not expect for it to be this difficult out here today. No. So we are out here. We're really literally just hoping and praying that we're able to actually catch at least one catfish for dinner. That's our new goal. Hopefully we can catch one. We're planning on fishing a little bit longer. Um, we're running out of time though. We have had a babysitter today. Um, Cypress is gonna be getting dropped off pretty soon. So we gotta make some magic happen. Hopefully on this run right here, we'll be able to catch something. The sun's starting to go down. You know, usually catfish are more easily caught um, in the afternoons or at night. So. Fingers crossed. But anyways, we're gonna paddle up here to our decoy spread. We're gonna start on this back half first, work our way towards the front, and hopefully we'll have one on the line. I hope so. Guys, we've finally done it. Looks like we've got ourselves a dabbling duck. Look how funny that thing looks. It is swimming. It is swimming. He's going. Oh He's going. Oh my God. <laughs> we came towards him. He's, he got away from us. Oh man, I hope the fish stays on. That is so funny looking. That duck is swimming. It's got a fish. This is the moment we've been looking for all day. It has been such a struggle. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I was right up next to him. Please stay on there, fish. Oh, he's swimming to me. Is he swimming to me? He's swimming to me. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh gosh. Is he big? Is he big? I don't know. Pull him up. Whoa! Oh my gosh. We did it. We finally did it. Holy cow. <laughs> That oh, was awesome. Wait, that's a nice one. It's that's not a, bad at all. And it's a solid channel cat. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so the duck decoys will in fact help us catch some catfish. Okay. We didn't know if it was going to happen or not. Okay. That was so cool. Watching what? it, watching the duck swim off. <laughs> I mean that, you know, that's the whole deal of this. That was what was going to make this so much fun was watching those ducks actually swim around like they were alive. That is a good eating size channel catfish. Heck yeah. I am stoked about Whoa. that. Awesome. So we just we just checked like our first like three decoys on this back half. We have about you know eight or nine of that one we need to check. So maybe they're finally starting to turn on. We tried throughout the middle of the day, didn't really have much luck. But I'm thinking that as the sun, which is right there, starts to set a little bit more, we might start catching some more catfish. Heck yeah. He'll be some <laughs> good eating tonight. <laughs> too good for us we have just checked all of our decoys except for this one right here and we're not really getting a good vibe from it but we're yeah. gonna go ahead and check the very last one yeah she's not looking like a dabbling woody but we're just making sure that there's not any sneaky fish on there that one still got the bait what? a lot of ones we checked didn't have the bait on them we've had to rebate but i guess that one's still good with this the good news is we got one catfish and that's skunked. yeah and that's enough to feed us which is great and uh, the other good news is that we baited all of these other decoys there's some somewhere there's one right there she's just chilling and we're hoping that as the sun starts to set that maybe we'll get some more activity on these duck decoys so the sun's going to set in about 30 minutes or so we're going to let these guys marinate a little bit longer they've basically been out here all day <laughs> with little action but we're not giving up hope we're going to see if we can catch at least one more catfish but you know if not We've at least got one and that's great. So we're going back in. We'll catch you back out here in just a little while. So while we're waiting on those duck decoys to hopefully get bit again, I've decided to go on ahead, clean our catfish. Not a monster channel cat, but that is our favorite eaten sized fish to catch. So definitely pumped about that. We'll just use this electric fillet knife to get him cleaned up real quick. <laughs> Now 
And there you have it, a couple of really nice catfish fillets, one for me, one for Jay to have tonight for supper. Let's get these guys rinsed off in the water hose and we'll be cooking them up really soon. The sun is just about set on us, so I'm out here one last time before dark to hopefully see if we've got a catfish on the line of one of these duck decoy fishing rigs we've got set up. Um, I have high hopes for the duck decoys, especially with the low light situation, but you never know, it's been a very tough day, but that's just how fishing goes. You know, you're not gonna smash them every single day, but Jay and I are both very thankful that we were at least able to get one catfish. But like I said, I'm not giving up hope. There's still a good chance we could have one on one of these lines. So we're gonna run through them one last time and see if we got ourselves one last catfish. We got one, 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 we got one. We got a fish on a duck. The duck just, the duck is swimming. It just took off. I don't know if he's still on there, but we definitely just had a fish pull that duck right there. I'm not even joking. Please still be on there. Please still be on there. Be on there. That duck just jammed. He just went boom. Come on, be a fish. There's some bubbles coming up right there. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Come on, be a fish on this thing. Be a fish on this thing. I feel one, there's a fish. There's a fish, there's a fish. That's a good one. Oh, it's a gar. It's a freaking gar. It's a big gar though. What the heck? Dang it, that's not what we're after. Look at this. Big old spotted gar. It's actually a really large one for spotted gar. Dang, where's that hook at? I don't even know where the hook's at in him. Woo, that's a nice fish, but not what we're after. We were wanting the kitty cats. Oh well, even though this is not our target species, it was still really cool watching that duck uh, take off like that from afar. Man, what a big old gar. We're gonna try to get him unhooked and uh, check the rest of our decoys. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got one. We got one on this one. Holy crap, I did not even feel him. Oh, I think he's dead. Oh, he's barely alive. What the heck? Oh, that's a big old channel cat. Whoa, I don't think he's alive. Are you kidding me? I did not think that that had a fish on it. Oh man, I don't know why he would have died, but whatever, he's still fresh. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. We got two channel cats. That's so weird, why is he dead? That's crazy. I will take it though. I mean, look at the size of that guy. That is a big old channel cat. Probably like a five or six pounder. That was completely unexpected. That duck decoy wasn't even moving. I, I went by it really fast, grabbed it, felt something I thought I had stick, and then all of a sudden this bill guy came out of there. That is crazy. Wow, And but come to think of it, I don't recall that particular duck decoy being right there, so. I guess you just swam off with it, got tired, and died. I don't know. Leave a comment below if you know why you would think this fish would die just from sitting on the water like that. Maybe from stress, maybe from the water being kind of hot. But either way, he's a fresh catfish. We're going to take him home. We're going to eat him. Yes! Well, guys, that could not have gone any better. You know, we fished super hard all day. We caught that one channel catfish earlier. And uh, had we not caught any more fish today, that one would have probably been enough for us for supper. But this guy just makes our life a lot easier and a lot better. Uh, we were really hoping to get more than just one catfish, and this is a really nice sized fish. You know, probably five or six pounds or so. And I couldn't believe it whenever I grabbed that duck decoy and felt that little bit of weight, and then I saw his big old head come up out of the water. I was like, whoa, we got a fish! That is crazy. Because right before then, I was a little bit bummed out that that other decoy just had a gar on it. But anyways, awesome fish. We're gonna get them cleaned up real quick and then we're gonna get the cooking process underway because we are both very hungry. Just got that catfish all cleaned up and I actually just got cleaned up myself from a long day of catfishing out on the lake. It was hot and sweaty and we had shad slime all over us. So it feels good to get a shower and get all cleaned up. But what's gonna be really good is filling our hungry bellies up with these delicious looking catfish fillets. I got these guys seasoned up pretty hardcore. We're gonna actually try to blacken them the right way today. We're getting the skillet right here 
nice and hot. We're gonna throw some butter down in it and we're gonna get these babies all blackened up, cooked up. They're gonna be so delicious. Uh, whenever I clean them, they have quite a bit of yellow meat on them, so I trimmed that up, but we still have a lot of meat here to work with. And like I said, we are starving. I think they each just have only had a sandwich today to eat, which is definitely not enough. So we're gonna make up for it with these catfish. Let's throw them on the skillet and uh, let's get to cooking. Some butter down. That's what we want right there. All right, I'd say that's pretty hot. Let's add our fish. Hopefully it's not too hot. Hopefully we don't burn the house down. And as you can see, I only have them seasoned on one side. They're pretty heavily seasoned. Don't want to burn the roof of our mouth off too bad. Those boys are sizzling. I just flipped the catfish over and those are looking fantastic. Perfectly blackened on that side. I cannot wait to eat those. I've not had like truly blackened catfish in so long. Those are almost done. See, that's the good thing about blackening them. It only takes a couple minutes to cook them. Take a look at this, guys. Dinner is officially served. Beautiful blackened catfish fillets. We've got our microwave rice over here, you know, trying to keep it classy with that. But we have it garnished with the lemon slices. That's gonna be delicious. And guys, it's only 9.44 p.m. <laughs> it's been a long day, but this is what it's all about. This is totally worth grinding it out there on the lake for hours and hours without much luck at all, because I have a great feeling this is going to be delicious. That looks fantastic. All right, so Cole being the gentleman that he is, he is letting me go first and try this fish. Oh my goodness, I cannot get over how beautiful this looks. I mean, the presentation, Cole. I tried hard this time. You know, sometimes <laughs> I just slap it on the plate, but I wanted to make it extra fancy, extra special, you know, for the tough crime we had on the lake. That okay. looks like it flaked up really good. Yeah, I am so hungry. <laughs> oh, baby. I was about to say, please be good. Mmm, <laughs> oh my gosh. Worth it? That's amazing. That's really, really good. <laughs> Maybe I'm just really, really hungry, but oh my gosh. See, that, that might be part of the strategy too, just to get mm. you super hungry. I mean, we literally ate last like at 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. It's been a long day. Oh my goodness, this is spectacular. I'm not gonna lie, it smoked the house up a little bit. Like if you look out that way, it looks kind of yeah, like, it looks like a wildfire that way, but um, you know, it's, it's worth it, I think. Dang, Cole, you did good. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this piece right here first. I'm gonna squeeze some lemon juice on it because I love it that way. Here we go, get a little bit of that action. That looks like it's gonna be delicious. I know you wouldn't lie to me either, would you? Never. Okay, there we go. That's the bite, the perfect bite. Here we go. That's good stuff, ain't That's it? That's good stuff, it's like straight out of New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's like. It's good, it's like I'm down in Louisiana. <laughs> so I seasoned it with the uh, the black and redfish magic, pretty heavy, I put some Slappy Mama on there, a little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of black pepper. You know, I just kind of went, I went all in for it. And I was afraid it was gonna be too much heat because I kind of spilled a little bit of Slappy Mama on some of the fillets, but it's good. I didn't season the backside because of that. But man, that was, mmm, it was really good. Wow. No, it's like, that's, I feel like I'm eating at a fancy restaurant. That's because you are. This is the Colin J Cafe. <laughs> we should open a food truck. We should stop making fishing videos. We should just open a food truck and just uh, start cooking fish <laughs> all day, every day. <laughs> That is great. That is so good. I think this is where we are going to end today's episode. We say thank you guys so much for sticking it out with us out there on the lake. We're glad we were able to <laughs> finally catch you guys some catfish on the duck decoy. And one more note on that. I think that the duck decoy catfish rig works great, could work great. I think that you need to make sure you take off the big lead weights. I think that was our yeah. issue today. Yeah and bait it up in a good area. I think that our area is starting to kind of dwindle out for the summertime. It's getting really hot out there and those water temps are like skyrocketing. But guys, if you enjoy the catfish content you saw today and you would like to see some more of it, do us a huge favor, leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. We're, We're Cole and Jay, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, Bye guys.